Welcome back. You're with Raj Arya, myself, Robin Conrad, and our special guest of today, Vivian To. And we're on Daybreak talking about the Kadar International Photography Awards. But now this time around, we want to get to the specifics. Mm. What actually happens on the ground, right? So start off with, right? Okay, let's say Raj and I, right? Uh, we're competitive photographers. That's okay? right. With smartphones in hand, obviously. Yeah, all right. We both have <laughs> smartphones, okay? Really, really good ones, expensive ones. We take very, very nice pictures and we want to submit them and win the thing, win the prize. What do we have to do? What are the steps? Okay, all you gotta do, well, first of all, you have a smartphone, right? Yeah. Gotta register an account with Instagram. Okay, okay. so we need Instagram. First step? Yes. Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Next. So you take good pictures. Take good nice pictures. Nice pictures of Kadar, right. of as many as you want. Post it up on Instagram mm -hmm. and include a hashtag experience Kadar. Okay. Just so we know, That's we could monitor. Uh, I see, yeah. I see. Okay. So, so you can see it straight away from them. Yes. Right? Okay. So if you get chosen, as they, uh, we, we have this thing we call the photo of the day. Every day we will pick a photo. And what happens to the winning photo that you pick? Uh, instantly, all this photo of the day will become a collection, a huge collection of photos that right. uh, will compete for the smartphone category. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But then that's only one category, yes. right? right? What about the other categories? Well, um, overall, there are six categories. We have uh, four, non, uh, four competitive categories and two non competitive categories. Now, let's get to the point of the competitive categories mm, okay. first. Yes. Uh, we do have the um, professional and amateur. Okay. Now, the amateur, we, you want to talk about a professional first, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Why not? Works, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to go into the details of how much to pay? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you mentioned professional, they are uh, non-competitive, right? Right. Uh, what, okay. what would the fee be like? Okay, for the competitive uh, category for professionals, it's 100 ringgit and you get to submit five entries, that okay. five images. Okay, so five images for 100 ringgit. Yes. That's oh, right. Okay, okay. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is called to make sure. <laughs> okay. yeah. and, so, then? and then the non competitive category for uh, professionals, uh, there is the 500 ringgit and the 1000 ringgit. Wow. So the difference is basically what you'll be getting uh, in terms of you will not um, be competing mm -hmm. in the photo awards. However, you will be exhibiting uh, your photographs that you have taken in Kedah at the award ceremony in January. Wow. Okay, so more, it's like just, uh, it's like buying a spot in the mm. exhibition something center. Something along something those lines. Like right. Right. Oh, uh, this okay. is um, especially for, I mean, catered for the professionals, senior photographers. Yeah, yeah, the ones who want to showcase yes. their work and all that on the local as well as potentially the international yes. platform, which you will talk about yes. a bit later as well. All right, so those are the pros. What about for the amateurs? For the amateurs, um, it's, it's the same concept. However, the fee for amateurs is 50 ringgit. Yeah. Okay. Students, right. students also fall under the amateur category. Right. And they also get to submit five images per entry. Right. Okay. Mm. right. okay. And then when it comes to uh, the Lomo or Polaroid category, that's 30 ringgit per entry. Okay. That is if you're using uh, the real Lomo camera. Uh huh. You know, smartphone has this application where you yes, can use yes, a Lomo yes, yes. application. So right, that yes, doesn't count. Right. So that's the a actual smartphone. That's to be the category. actual uh, Lomo camera. Yes. Yeah? Oh, yes. Okay. And we have to receive the phone. The, the, the physical. Yes, physical. Photo uh -huh. itself. Uh -huh. yeah. But okay, what did, okay, let's say uh, Raj is really mm -hmm. good with Photoshop, right? Mm. Ching, ching, ching. Mm. That's right. And I'm completely just terrible at mm. Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Okay. But both of us, we have similar mm. photography mm -hmm. skills. Where does that bring us? Where does that bring him? Where does that bring me? Well, Kipa is an open award. Right. Okay. Digital manipulation is allowed. Right. Okay, so then he'll obviously have the upper hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's a digital world we live in. That's right. Yes. Okay, okay. Fair so yeah. So again, viewers out there, if you're a photographer by any chance, or you know, if you know anyone who is a photographer and you happen to know Photoshop, this is definitely something mm. we definitely encourage you yeah. to participate in. That's um, right. And it starts on the 15th of January, the actual exhibition mm -hmm. starts on the 15th and it's going on for one month mm -hmm. to the February, uh, 15th of February. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Thereabouts. Uh, okay. But the uh, awards now, you can still submit the pictures till end of this year, right? Yes. Okay. Now, not, not forget to mention there is the smartphone category which is free. 
Okay. Ah, okay. Yes, Malaysia's favorite word. Free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about that. Unlimited entries. Uh, Un unlimited yes. entry and it's free. Come on. That's Come right. on. Okay. So the great thing now, we, have, we already know the mechanics uh -huh. of it. Now, for people who are oblivious to the beauties and wonders of what Kedah has offers, like Robin and myself, yeah. what do you suggest uh, for we should do in terms of trying to explore? Where do we start? With regards to Come to us. taking pictures uh, in Kedah itself. Yes, uh, drop us a comment on Facebook, mm -hmm. facebook.com slash KIP Awards, or drop us an email telling us that you really want to be in Kedah and we will make an arrangement yeah. uh, to, to, make, to make it easier for you to uh, visit Kedah. We have 11 photo trails. Ah, uh, photo that's trails. the Regal Kedah, mm. the lakes and rivers, mountains the sea above and below if you love diving. Right. So we uh, have these photo trails that um, we have already arranged, mm -hmm. just ready, just be there when, whenever you need it. Right. Okay. So to, make, to, so make your, you know, yeah, to make your experience uh, okay. in Kedah. To explore the different better. facets mm. and appeals mm -hmm. of Kedah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you're a foodie, you might want to explore more of exactly. what yes. Kedah yes. has offered. All angles of are, are being approached That's at. Right. Yeah, yes. that nothing is being missed out, yes. right? Okay. Well, you've mentioned here quite a few photo trails. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, we've got the Regal Kedah. Kedah. Uh, we got the history of Kedah, which is mm -hmm. more, I think, like the fort you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, That's right. Once again, one of the, I think, uh, oldest civilization, oldest uh, states. In yeah, with, yeah, being the oldest states in the, no, sorry, the second oldest state in the world and the oldest state in Malaysia. Was that right? Yes. Right? Oh, okay. Yes. So, yes, there's a lot of history to offer, lots of things to capture. There's also the high tech Kedah. So, not only mm -hmm. it is historic, but mm -hmm. it is also somewhat technologically yes, advanced. Yes, That's Through photos, we want to see the development of Kedah mm -hmm. in the next five to ten years. Right. Yeah, I mean, in okay. Alo Star alone, there's so, there, there's so many places that you can visit. There are museums, uh, buildings, architectural buildings, if you love art. Oh, wow. Yes, if, wow. You, if you love food, I heard there's a popular stall that sells Nasi Lemak. We'll Nasi probably be eating Nasi rather Lemak. than taking pictures. <laughs> I think so. We're going to like, uh, what are we here oh, for? Oh, we don't mind. You know, you know what? Uh, they, they say that um, nowadays there is a new religion where you take photos of food before you eat. Yes. Uh, you can do so. Yes. And submit it as a smartphone entry. Yeah. Right. So it's just <laughs> one thing you do anyway and just uh, just try a lot to submit it. You never it. know. You never it's know free. It's, good. it's yes. free anyway. Exactly. Put it on Instagram, right? Yes. <laughs> and hashtag it. Yes. That's the whole point. Right. So uh, besides that, there's rivers and lakes, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, Kedah being a very uh, a state full of mm. multiple landscapes, mm -hmm. right? That's true. Uh, of course, you have the mountains, the mm -hmm. sea, mm -hmm. uh, being on the coastline. It's mm -hmm. a state that's on the coastline. Uh, food, which we just talked about, the faces of the kampong. Mm -hmm. Like myself and Rob. <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely blend in Kedah. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. If you see us in the rice field, it's like we were just meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then the uh, birds, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, devoted Kedah, which are the Thai temples, Hindu temples, Chinese temples. Yeah, this temples. is right. what. Um, that is very interesting. Yeah, the Lembah Bujang Archaeological Museum. Right. Yeah. We uh, can see all the diverse uh, cultures, yes. ethnicities, as well as uh, religions. Yes. One thing that's not to be missed is the waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen lots of pictures taken at waterfalls. The mm. Really good places right. to visit. I would imagine that Langkawi would be popular by virtue of it being part of Kedah itself. Mm. And it imagine Langkawi is so beautiful already. Mm -hmm. Imagine the, the rest of Kedah. Mm -hmm. well, Feel free yeah. to explore. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. actually, what you say is true because when people think of uh, Kedah, maybe mm. Langkawi comes mm -hmm. to mind because it's such a mm -hmm. well known tourist resort, mm -hmm. exactly. tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. But Kedah itself has, in fact, so much to mm -hmm. offer as well. And in fact, this would provide the, the perfect platform for to highlight right the beauties exactly. of uh, Kedah, Kedah itself to, to the rest of Malaysia as well as to the world. And speaking of the world, I understand that, all right, uh, just to recap, this opened on the 1st of July. Mm -hmm. as we speak right now and we'll close on the 31st of December so there's still plenty of time to submit your entries right your photo entries the exhibition will be uh, from January 15 for one month and I understand after that there's still more yes after the award ceremony in January as well as the exhibition in uh, the whole the whole affair will be done in Aldo Star okay soon after that month we will have another round of exhibition back here in KL. Oh, fantastic. Oh, okay. yes. right. where, where, where is it exactly? In Publica. In Publica. Yeah, sometime okay. in March. All right. And soon after that, we also have traveling exhibitions to London and Australia. 
Okay, oh. okay. But a quick one, all right? Mm. Let's say uh, one photographer wins one of the categories. What is the prize? What ah, is the grand prize? Very important. Mm. That's right, the prizes. It's a mixture of cash and prizes worth 7,500 ringgit. Okay. Also, um, an opportunity to be featured in um, one of the popular photography magazines in Malaysia. Yeah, and also mm -hmm. definitely also get to be on the traveling exhibition wherever we go, wherever we are in okay. the world. Basically giving exposure to yes. the photographer, yes. right? Okay, that is very interesting. And if we have any photographers mm -hmm. who are viewing the show right now, where can they find out this information? Uh, please log on to www.kipa.my. Oh, simple. Oh. Simple enough. www.kipa.my. That's it. Right there, you can see the website on the screen right now. All the relevant information which you can obtain in terms of being part of this fantastic awards. Right. All right. Before we're almost running out of time, but before we go, mm -hmm. is there any advice you would like to give to any of our would be photographers intending to take part in mm. Kipa? Okay. Uh Feel free to submit as many photos as you wish. Don't think about uh, how good your photo is. It's an open award mm -hmm. and let the judges uh, do all the headache. Uh, <laughs> but you know, we want you to come to Qadar and experience the beautiful state with an open mind. Right, fantastic. And speaking Perfect. of judges, who will be judging all the various entries? There are a list of them, but I can assure you these are judges that are photographers themselves, professional ones. All right. um, that they specialize in different categories like diving or landscapes and birds and animals and parks. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Judges with uh, experience in yes. those specific with areas. Credibility. Right? Well, mm -hmm. said, well okay. said. Okay. Okay. Well, as we are about to run out of time, is there something else you would like to tell the audience besides giving advice? Is there anything that we perhaps missed out that you would like to say to our viewers out there? Remember to visit Kada anytime you wish. Mm -hmm. And also for the smartphone category, remember to include the hashtag experience Kada. Right, very, okay. very yes. important. Hashtag. Don't get confused okay. with the entry fee, you know where to but get us. This only <laughs> <laughs> but this only works on Instagram, right? Uh -huh. does, does, it, does it work on Facebook in like hashtag? Yes, it does. On Facebook yes. too? Oh, okay. okay. Okay, because I don't have an Instagram account. Mm -hmm. No, me neither. neither. All right, so, so now we know like like Facebook, right? Yeah, I'll Facebook, see you there. Right compete with each other. Right? <laughs> okay, that's all the time we have for this particular segment. Mm -hmm. Vivian, thank you very much. It's been most informative. You have given us a new insights to what Kedah has to offer. Exactly. Things never we never uh, uh, heard right. about. Exactly. Usually we just pass through Kedah on the way to Penang. <laughs> so there you have it. So good reasons to stop over there for a couple of days to just to check out the sights and beauties that mm. it has to offer. Now we're going to take a quick commercial break right now. But when we come back, we're going to talk about livable cities around the world. And does that include Kuala Lumpur? Well, you'll find out right after this commercial break.